are here and ready for the Star Ingredient Challenge. Over the last couple of weeks, so we have been rolling out a different star ingredient and a different shooting star ingredient and challenging a few of our foodie friends and chefs to create some wonderful recipes. This is not a competition. I have been trying to ring this in the air of this lady this morning. This is not a competition. This I know, is but this I mean, I want to do as much. I want my dish to stand out. You know, I want to, I want to taste her dish. Nah, not Joel. <laughs> <laughs> So this, I went and I went and The created. purpose of this shot is to show the folks at home how they can use the star ingredient okay. in their recipes at home. And that's what we're going to do. And that's what we're you doing. You use cornmeal, I use cornmeal. You use tomato, I use tomato. So I have the better dish. <laughs> I have the better dish. Well, we'll yeah. see about that. <laughs> this is not a competition. We really just want to show you guys some wonderful recipes using uh, the star ingredient. The star ingredient this morning that Charlene and I will be working on. And you guys know Charlene. Chef Charlene is the fitness chef here on the show. Tomatoes. She works with tomatoes a lot. Mm -hmm. And we are very proud to have the sponsor this morning of the star ingredient challenge. Brand new product on the market. Mama Sita yellow corn flour. And we have to incorporate this corn flour with tomatoes in a dish. Charlie, what Joel, did you do? I did a lemon crumb cake. Mm. So, you know, I use the cornmeal as my base instead of flour. You know, everybody think, you know, with cornmeal, you could do polenta, <laughs> or you could do pastel or cornmeal pie. You know, I mean, I didn't want to do something ordinary. I wanted to be extraordinary. <laughs> this is like, not a cornmeal. I know. I was, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's okay. So I tried to make it healthy, of course, yeah. no? no flour. So I replace any other flour with cornmeal and I use almond meal. Because almond meal is like almond flour, but it's just coarse, it's more coarser. Okay. So it's have a consistency, something like the cornmeal. And I'm not well. hearing how you use the tomatoes. The tomato, I made a tomato jam. So you could use the tomato jam three months after in your sandwiches with cricks, anything as well. Okay. So it's okay. a good that's, way to use a I'm veggie. That's what I'm seeing on yeah. the tomato jam is spread over the yes. cake, over the cake. And it tastes delicious. So it's a cornmeal cake. Yeah, it's a cornmeal crumb cake. Okay. It's a lemon glaze. I mean, oh my gosh, right, it's stop, not polenta. Stop, stop, stop. We understand what you did. <laughs> so, what I did... Before, let me just tell folks what I did now, please. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. sorry. I, I didn't know they wanted to know. Yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So what I did, I, I I couldn't do a fancy cake like Charlie did so on, but we I'm I'm keeping in the mood of doing appetizers. We are in the holidays and, mm -hmm. and, and people entertain a lot. So I've been trying to come up with nice dishes that people can use, little finger foods, even people come at home, simple dishes that people can come at home and try. And this one, I use the cornmeal as a simple cornmeal cake mm -hmm. and I topped it with a wonderful tomato. Balsamic. I don't think it should say cake because you know when people think cake, they'll think cake. But just I would have mini said cake. cake. You, know, you can even mind it. I yeah. conceptualize. Don't say cake. It's not cake. Change our way. Change say, our way. Yes. Let's go over <laughs> something else. Don't say cake. <laughs> right. It's a mini cake. It's a mini cake topped with topped with a balsamic uh, uh, tomato, veggies. tomato, yeah, veggies, some to, some mushroom, mushroom, feta cheese, and that kind of thing in there. But let's get cracking. Let's show you guys how we did and what we did this morning. Charlene is going to put together this crumb cake that I think is a fabulous idea, actually. When she told me she did a cake, I was like, wow, cornmeal, tomatoes, and she came up with a cake. So tell so me what Joel, you So Joel, I have my sugar and butter cream in, and it's so simple. You just have to add everything to the mixer. I'm going to add my cornmeal. So this is probably where you would have had to add flour. Yeah. And you replace the flour with cornmeal and... Add your almond meal. And almond meal. You can get that almond meal in the supermarket. Bake it. But actually, it was so hard to get. Yeah? Yeah, so go to a gourmet sauce to get it, basically. Okay. Because okay. everybody has almond flour, but almond meal was actually harder to get. Okay, so there's almond flour and almond meal, like corn, yeah. like corn, like corn meal. No, no, no. Almond meal and almond flour is different. Right, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So yeah. almond meal more has a consistency like corn meal because right. that's how I want it crumbly. Yeah, okay. I didn't want to use flour. Okay. Right, so everything, I'm going to add some almond essence. We're going to add some lemon juice. I want the seeds to go in. Because if I get seeds, then you lose nah, points. Nah, I think it's out already. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to add some lemon zest. You want the lemon flavor. You want the lemon flavor. Yeah. yeah. So how you came up with this? I mean, this this tell, sure, tell, tell me the I, When you tell me about the challenge, 
I went to them, I pull out a baking book, and I just look at any recipe, and I just try to substitute. I tried the recipe three times, and I failed three times. And I mean, I wouldn't say I failed at this one, but when they're cutting it, we'll put it in the jar. You see, I didn't cut it. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes that's how recipes go. Yeah. You have to try and test and, you know, especially when they're creating new recipes. Yeah. This, is a, this is a new one. You've never done this never before. Never did this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is never done this and before. And then I'm going to add three eggs. Three eggs. Yeah. So, Joel, while this is mixing, we're going to do the tomato jam. Basically, the tomato jam, I put some tomatoes to boil just to release the skin off of it so it could, be pe so it could peel easily. Right. So, I put four potatoes, tomatoes, sorry, to boil. I throw it out and add it in cold water to start the cooking. Then I replace it back in the pan and I'm going to mash it up. Then I'm going to add some sugar. I'm going to add cinnamon or you can add a cinnamon stick. And you're going to just let this reduce until the tomato becomes thick. So you're going to leave this on the stove. What I did as well is I added some lemon juice to the tomato. So that's pretty sugar. I didn't want it too sweet. Right. And, 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 and until that it forms what I'm seeing on the cake, yeah. like a jam. So you like. just leave it to reduce and reduce and reduce. But you have it keep stirring so it wins, it wins thick. Right. And basically that's it. so it. easy. And you put this in a cake pan? Put this in a cake pan, bake for 40 to 45 minutes, and then glaze with some lemon. Glaze which is ice and sugar and lemon juice. Basically put it on the cake when it's hot, and then you throw the tomato on top of it. And oh, that's so the it. tomato goes last after last. the cake is baked. Just after as a nice baked, garnish. After the cake is finished baked. Yeah. And that's Charlene's... Cornmeal crumb cake. Yeah, lemon cornmeal crumb cake. Lemon cornmeal crumb cake with a tomato jam on top of it. It looks lovely. I can't wait to taste. Guys, very simple. Charlene did a wonderful cake. And as I said, I am keeping in, you know, appetizer mode, small bites mode. Um, I'm keeping it simple so that you can try different things at home. I made a simple cornmeal, uh, a simple cornmeal mixture from, from the corn flour. Um, and, and it really is just some cream, water, you put it to boil, you, you whip in your, your cornmeal powder yeah. um, and, and get it to a texture that you like. Leave it, let it set, and it, it firms up nicely. Um, working with cornmeal like this is sometimes a little tricky. Yes, because it likes to clump it together. Like it, you have yeah. to put plenty of liquid. Yeah. A lot of people can't cook it's, it. It's, it's difficult to use. So, so, so just keep it simple um, and, and, and then and, and leave it to set like this. What I'm doing here is using a simple glass, as you see. I'm getting these so they call lovely. Really soft though. <laughs> I, I I spent a lot of time on it. I no, spent, yeah. seriously. We 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 messed Stop. up a couple of times Stop. as well. We messed up a couple of times. We got some tips from some chefs as well that passed through on the show. Okay, you know, okay. yeah, we got to yeah. But it, it it is a tricky thing to work with. Um, but yeah, once you get it right, yeah. yeah? And with this, Charlie, once you get you 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 go and you get it's so simple. Once you and you just leave this to set, you know you don't even have to worry about it. It sets just like that. Or you that. can bake it. You can bake it as well. Or there was a but time sure, that I fried it. It will get more firm. Some people, it will, yeah. and some people may not like it. Some people may like it soft. And I'm gonna create now using my star ingredient tomatoes. I'm just gonna create a lovely tomato mixture that I'm gonna put a balsamic glaze over. So I have tomatoes Tomato. chopped. I love mushrooms. I try to put mushrooms in everything I do, Charlene. So I, I have some mushrooms here. And I'm going to add feta cheese. It's something that I also love. So I'm adding some feta so cheese here as well. I can take this home after because I don't want it to waste, right? <laughs> what are you taking home after? The mixture because I don't want it to waste. The winning dish? Anyway, I'm <laughs> taking the mixture. <laughs> This is not a competition. So, so I have some red onions, tomatoes, mushrooms, and a feta cheese. I mix this together like that, Charlie, very simply. Mm -hmm. um, get it all, all mixed together. And then I will salt and pepper it very quickly. Salt, some pepper. And I'm just going to do a simple balsamic glaze here. Now, should I use this bowl? Yeah, I think I'll use this bowl. Oh, no, I have this cup here that I can use. Right? So I'm going to add some balsamic, balsamic. balsamic vinegar. One, I want some parsley. This is actually shallow benny. Yeah, mm -hmm. cilantro, cilantro. With sh 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 I sh actually sh smell it when you take yeah, it out. Yeah. <laughs> shallow benny. Um, I'm going to add some olive oil. Um, it's just probably about two tablespoons, two tablespoons of olive oil. I'll get two tablespoons. Huh? Okay. Your measurement skills might be, might be better than mine. Huh? Right? And oh, most garlic. importantly, garlic. I have some garlic. I'm crushing you here nicely. Chop the garlic like no, normal no, 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 no. I, I look for simple 
effective tools in the kitchen that I don't have to spend a lot of time. Okay, yeah? take that home and I'll go in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? So garlic crushed in there. Um, and I could probably just add a little salt and pepper in here as well. And and this is it, you know, this is a nice simple balsamic and it could use vinaigrette. Like, like salad you could well. you can, you can. You you will have a ball with this because yeah. you eat I love green. that. Yeah, yeah. So well I see protein, would mean green. <laughs> <laughs> would you have come up with that? No, honestly no. I mean if, if I didn't get it caught, yeah, I would yeah. not think no, about no. I had to pull out my big gun <laughs> for the shower. Cake is not your thing. But you really like cake though. You do? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Look at that, Charlie. Yeah, looking around. Now, like ideally, it. right, you leave this overnight to allow the balsamic to... It's so keen. Oh, my goodness. And all you're really doing, as well, you're seeing lovely plated there, um, is topping. So I can taste this now. <laughs> so, you know, I like my healthy stuff. You do, you do. I thought about you when I was doing it. I thought, I thought about you. And you top with your tomato mixture, your tomato vegetable mixture. You don't have to be perfect, you know? We know. <laughs> and you're going we in for it. it. Can I cut a slice of your cake? Sure. Mm hmm. <laughs> I mean, really tender. Try not to make too much a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to make too much a mess. Try not to make too much a mess. And it's a, it's a crumbled cake, so as you said, mm -hmm. it's, it's really nice and soft. I want to get some tomato jam there as well. I need the tomato jam. Mm -hmm. Tell me if it isn't healthy. I don't know about healthy, Charlene. It is good, though. But the tomato jam with the cornmeal is actually a perfect combination. It does taste good. Mm -hmm. This is good. So that's the winning recipe. This is good. That's a little better, but this is good. This is not a competition. Hope you enjoy these recipes, guys. Um, tomato is the ingredient today. I want to thank the folks at Mama Sita. Cornmeal, corn flour. Check them out. New product on the shelves, guys. Beautiful corn flour that you can you make your pastels with and do all the stuff around the holidays that you do around Christmas time. Mama Sita is the brand. And we want to thank the folks at Riga for making it possible this morning. Tomatoes. Charlene did a brilliant cornmeal crumb cake. Lemon. I'm, I'm lemon getting the lemon. Cornmeal crumb I'm cake. getting the lemon. And you can try my polenta, my polenta cakes. She's polenta using a big pie with <laughs> my polenta mini cakes, polenta cakes with my tomato balsamic topping. Good to have you. Normally she's here with in, with in fitness mood and she just allowed herself to go and made a Normal cake recipe, this morning. Yeah. Made a cake this morning. Try it's to keep it on the healthy side. It's time ingredient challenge, guys. We go right down to the end of Christmas to bring you all of these lovely recipes showcasing another star ingredient. Come on back. We have lots of fun still to come.